Hey, in this video, I'm going to quickly show you how to automate effects envelopes in Adobe Audition. So the first thing you need to do is pop into the multi-track uh, in Audition. Um, I'm not going to save this. I'm going to just name this generic. So here we go, basic empty multi-track. And for this example, I'm going to be automating um, a reverb effect, but what I will show you will apply to any effect that you have in your effects rack. Uh, normally, I believe uh, it'll be the in-out properties on each track, but click the effects button right here and then add a plugin of some kind. Uh, in this instance, I'm going to be adding reverb. Um, know the rules to break the rules, but I usually add reverb at the end of the chain. Uh, so I will go down to slot 16 on this track. I'm going to add reverb. I'm going to be using studio reverb uh, and I will explain that a little later why I'm specifically using this one. Default settings are fine for the sake of this demonstration. Uh, and then right here it says read and you can expand this and then you can show envelopes and if you look down here it says studio reverb and again for the sake of this demonstration I will be automating the wet output level. Um, and this doesn't really mean anything until we have some audio so let's actually uh, record a simple voice line, which will also explain what we're doing. Uh, so here we go. You can use effects envelopes and automation to create the effect of entering a dream sequence, just like this. Corny and cheesy, I know, but bear with me. Um, I'm gonna just up the volume on this uh, because I like when things are full and robust. And this pink or purple line that appeared when I selected Studio Reverb, wet output level. Uh, we're gonna drag this all the way down, just like a volume envelope. I'm going to find out where um, the audio is, uh, the line in question. Just like this. Okay, so there's no reverb on that at all. If I jack this up, just like a volume envelope. Just like this. You can hear the difference. So let's actually Manipulate this just like we would be a volume envelope. And here what we created. You can use effects envelopes and automation to create the effect of entering a dream sequence, just like this. And there you are, uh, just like that. I'm gonna mix this to taste. I didn't really like um, how aggressively that came in. So I will put a little elbow in it and preview it again. Of entering a dream sequence, just like this. You see the amount of reverb comes up. And you can use this technique uh, just like ducking under, like ducking a, a music bed or background sound underneath, underneath voiceover. Um, you can create uh, some cool effects uh, this way. Like if, you have, if you've got footsteps, you can have them walking away from you or entering a cavernous space. Um, and I hope this is helpful to you in your sound design projects. So if, you, if there's something else you wanna learn, if there's any sort of effect or something that you wanna learn how to do, something you heard in a podcast or saw in a movie or a show, uh, get at me. I'd be happy to record a little demo.